Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In today's episode, we'll take you back to the golden age of Hollywood to explore the evolution of 45 actors at the beginning of their careers and now. Let's rewind memories to uncover the stories of silver screen icons and the enduring legacies they've left in the entertainment industry. Get ready to reminisce and rediscover the magic of Hollywood's golden era. Number 45. Tina Louise, best known for her role as Ginger Grant in the 1960s TV series, Gilligan's Island, rose to prominence during that decade. Her portrayal of the glamorous movie star stranded on a desert island captured the hearts of audiences worldwide and became an enduring symbol of the show's charm. Apart from her acting career, Tina Louise has also made a name for herself as a singer and author. She released several albums showcasing her vocal talents and penned books on topics ranging from beauty to self-help. Outside of her artistic pursuits, Louise has been involved in various philanthropic activities, supporting causes related to animal welfare and environmental conservation. Currently, Tina Louise is 89 years old and occasionally appears in film and television projects. While her career has spanned various industries, she will always be remembered for her contribution to the entertainment world, particularly for her iconic role in Gilligan's Island. Number 44. Rita Hayworth, born Margarita Carmen Cancino, was a prominent actress in the 1940s. Her most iconic role came in 1946's Gilda, where her sultry performance captivated audiences worldwide, cementing her status as a sex symbol of the era. Aside from acting, Hayworth was also known for her exceptional dancing skills, showcased in several musical films. Her talent and beauty made her a favorite pinup girl among American servicemen during World War II. Outside of her artistic endeavors, Hayworth was involved in various social causes, including supporting the war effort through USO performances. Hayworth passed away in 1987 at the age of 68. Throughout her life, she left an indelible mark on the film industry, influencing subsequent generations of actors and actresses. Number 43, Linda Carter first gained prominence in the 1970s when she portrayed the iconic superheroine Wonder Woman in the television series of the same name. Her portrayal of the Amazonian princess with superhuman abilities captivated audiences worldwide and became a symbol of female empowerment. In addition to her acting career, Linda Carter is also a talented singer. She has released several albums showcasing her vocal prowess and has performed in various concerts and stage productions. Beyond her artistic endeavors, Carter has been an advocate for various social causes, including women's rights and veterans' affairs. She has been actively involved in charity work and has supported organizations dedicated to helping disadvantaged communities. Currently, Linda Carter is 71 years old and continues to be involved in the entertainment industry. While she has taken on various roles throughout her career, she will always be remembered for her groundbreaking portrayal of Wonder Woman, which has left a lasting legacy in both the world of entertainment and popular culture. Number 42, Jane Russell rose to prominence in the 1940s as a Hollywood sex symbol and actress. She became particularly notable for her breakout role in the film, The Outlaw, in 1943, where her voluptuous figure and sultry persona captivated audiences. The film generated significant controversy due to its provocative content, contributing to Russell's notoriety. Aside from her acting career, Russell was also a singer and performer. She showcased her vocal talents in films and released several albums throughout her career. Beyond the entertainment industry, Jane Russell was involved in various philanthropic activities, including supporting adoption agencies and children's charities. Russell passed away in 2011 at the age of 89. Throughout her life, she left a lasting impact on Hollywood, 
challenging conventions of femininity and leaving behind a legacy as a trailblazing figure in film history. Are you a fan of hers? Leave a comment for Jane Russell. Number 41. Christopher Walken, a renowned actor, began his career in the late 1950s, but he gained significant recognition in the 1970s. He's widely celebrated for his distinctive voice, intense demeanor, and versatility in portraying a wide range of characters. One of Walken's most iconic roles came in the film, The Deer Hunter, in 1978, where he played a Vietnam War veteran struggling with the trauma of his experiences. His performance earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, solidifying his reputation as one of the most talented actors of his generation. Apart from acting, Walken is also known for his dancing skills, which he showcased in various film roles, notably in Pennies from Heaven in 1981 and the music video for Fatboy Slim's Weapon of Choice. In addition to his artistic endeavors, Walken has been involved in various charitable causes, including supporting the arts and animal rights. At present, Christopher Walken is 81 years old and continues to be active in the entertainment industry, with numerous film and television credits to his name. His legacy as a versatile and iconic actor will undoubtedly endure for generations to come. Number 40, Jean Tierney, an iconic Hollywood actress, rose to prominence in the 1940s. One of Tierney's most memorable roles came in the film, Laura, in 1944, where she portrayed the title character, a captivating woman whose mysterious murder drives the plot. Her performance in, Laura, earned her critical acclaim and established her as one of the leading actresses of her time. In addition to her acting career, Tierney was also recognized for her fashion sense and style, becoming a fashion icon of the 1940s and 1950s. Outside of her work in the entertainment industry, Jean Tierney was involved in various charitable endeavors, supporting causes such as cancer research and children's welfare. Jean Tierney passed away in 1991 at the age of 70, leaving behind a legacy of timeless performances and contributions to cinema. Her influence on Hollywood and her status as a cultural icon continue to be celebrated today. Number 39, Ryan O'Neill, born on April 20, 1941, rose to prominence in the 1970s. He became a household name with his role as Oliver Barrett IV in the romantic drama Love Story in 1970, which garnered him widespread recognition and acclaim. This iconic role cemented his status as a leading actor of his time. Beyond acting, O'Neill has dabbled in other artistic endeavors such as painting and writing. He has showcased his talent in these fields, further showcasing his multifaceted nature. In addition to his artistic pursuits, O'Neill has been involved in various philanthropic activities, supporting causes related to cancer research and children's charities. Ryan O'Neill passed away in 2023 at the age of 82. His performances have left an indelible mark on cinema, influencing generations of actors and filmmakers alike. Number 38, Ursula Andress, a Swiss actress, emerged as a prominent figure in the 1960s. She gained international recognition for her portrayal of the iconic Bond girl, Honey Ryder, in the 1962 James Bond film, Dr. Number. Her stunning appearance emerging from the sea clad in a white bikini became one of the most memorable moments in cinematic history. Apart from her acting career, Andress was also renowned for her modeling work gracing numerous magazine covers and becoming a symbol of beauty and elegance. Beyond the realms of artistry, 
Andrus was involved in various social activities, advocating for animal rights and environmental causes. Currently in her late 80s, Andrus has largely retired from acting but remains an influential figure in the film industry. Her contribution to cinema, particularly in shaping the portrayal of Bond girls, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment world, influencing generations of filmmakers and actors. Number 37, Morgan Fairchild rose to prominence in the late 1970s and throughout the 1980s. She became widely recognized for her role as the glamorous and scheming fashion magnate, Constance Weldon Carlyle, in the soap opera, Flamingo Road. This portrayal cemented her status as a sex symbol and solidified her place in Hollywood. Apart from her acting career, Fairchild is also known for her advocacy work particularly in raising awareness about HIV, AIDS and supporting LGBTQ plus rights, at the age of 74, Morgan Fairchild continues to be active in the entertainment industry, although her appearances have become less frequent in recent years. Her legacy in the film and television industry lies in her ability to portray strong and complex female characters, breaking stereotypes and paving the way for greater representation of women in media. Number 36, Clint Eastwood began his illustrious career in the 1950s. However, it was his portrayal of the tough and stoic gunslinger, the man with no name, in Sergio Leone's Dollars Trilogy in the 1960s that catapulted him to international fame. His iconic roles in Western classics like A Fistful of Dollars, For a Few Dollars More, and The Good, The Bad and the Ugly, solidified his status as a Hollywood icon, besides his acting prowess. Eastwood's directorial skills have also garnered widespread acclaim. He has helmed numerous critically acclaimed films, including Unforgiven, Million Dollar Baby, and Mystic River, earning him multiple Academy Awards. Beyond his contributions to cinema, Clint Eastwood has been involved in various philanthropic endeavors, including supporting veterans' causes and promoting gun control reform. At the remarkable age of 93, Clint Eastwood continues to be active in the film industry, both in front of and behind the camera. His enduring legacy in cinema spans decades, leaving an indelible mark on the art form and inspiring generations of filmmakers and actors worldwide. Do you still remember the image of this legendary gunslinger? Let's comment below with Clint Eastwood. Number 35, Claudia Cardinale, the Italian-Tunisian actress, began her career in the early 1950s and quickly became an international sensation. One of her most notable roles was in Sergio Leone's epic western, Once Upon a Time in the West, in 1968, where she portrayed the enigmatic and alluring Jill McBain. Her performance in this film further solidified her status as a cinematic icon. Aside from her acting career, Cardinale has been actively involved in humanitarian efforts, particularly advocating for the rights of refugees and displaced persons. At 85 years old, Claudia Cardinale continues to be revered in the film industry, occasionally appearing in films and attending international film festivals. Her legacy as an actress of unparalleled elegance and talent has left an indelible mark on Italian and international cinema, inspiring countless actors and filmmakers across generations. Number 34, Sophia Loren, the iconic Italian actress, embarked on her illustrious career in the 1950s. Loren garnered international acclaim for her roles in films such as Two Women, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress in 1962, becoming the first actress to win an Oscar for a non-English language performance. One of her most memorable performances was in Marriage Italian Style in 1964, where she starred alongside Marcello Mastroianni. 
Her portrayal of the fiery and passionate Philomena Martirano showcased her versatility and solidified her status as one of the greatest actresses of her generation. In addition to her acting prowess, Lauren is celebrated for her philanthropic work, particularly her efforts in supporting children's charities and organizations. At the age of 89, Sophia Loren remains a revered figure in the film industry, revered for her timeless elegance and enduring talent. While she has slowed down in her acting career, her legacy as an actress of unparalleled grace and skill continues to inspire generations of performers and filmmakers worldwide. Number 33, Jack Lord is best known for his portrayal of Steve McGarrett in the iconic television series, Hawaii Five-0, which aired from 1968 to 1980. His role as the no-nonsense, tough-as-nails detective leading the fictional Hawaii State Police made him a household name and solidified his status as a television legend. Aside from his acting career, Jack Lord was also an accomplished artist, with a passion for painting and sculpting. His artwork often depicted scenes from his beloved Hawaii, showcasing his deep connection to the islands. Throughout his life, Lord was actively involved in philanthropic efforts, particularly in supporting arts and education initiatives. Jack Lord passed away in 1998 at the age of 77, but his legacy lives on through his iconic role in Hawaii Five-0 and his contributions to the arts and charitable causes. He remains a revered figure in the entertainment industry, remembered for his talent, dedication, and generosity. Number 32, Audrey Hepburn, the beloved British actress and humanitarian, rose to prominence in the 1950s and 1960s as one of Hollywood's most iconic stars. Hepburn's breakthrough role came in 1953 with Roman Holiday, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Throughout her career, Hepburn starred in numerous classic films, including Breakfast at Tiffany's, Sabrina, and My Fair Lady. Her performances were characterized by a natural charm and sophistication that endeared her to audiences of all ages. Beyond her acting career, Audrey Hepburn was deeply committed to humanitarian work. She served as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador from 1988 until her passing in 1993, using her fame to advocate for children's rights and raise awareness about issues such as malnutrition and access to clean water. Audrey Hepburn's legacy extends far beyond the silver screen. Her timeless style, philanthropic efforts, and dedication to making the world a better place continue to inspire people around the globe. Number 31, Tippi Hedren, the American actress and former fashion model, made her mark in Hollywood during the 1960s. She gained widespread recognition for her starring roles in two Alfred Hitchcock classics, The Birds, in 1963 and Marnie, in 1964. Her performance in these films showcased her talent and versatility as an actress, earning her critical acclaim and establishing her as one of Hitchcock's iconic leading ladies. Outside of her acting career, Tippi Hedren is known for her work as an animal rights activist and humanitarian. She is the founder of the Roar Foundation and the Shambhala Preserve, a sanctuary for rescued big cats. Her dedication to wildlife conservation and animal welfare has earned her numerous awards and accolades. At the age of 94, Tippi Hedren remains active in her advocacy work and occasionally makes appearances in film and television. Her legacy extends beyond her cinematic achievements to her lifelong commitment to protecting and caring for animals in need. The image of Tippi Hedren and those birds surely still haunts your mind, doesn't it? Comment number one to show that you still remember it. Number 30, Jessica Lange, an iconic figure in Hollywood, emerged in the late 1970s, 
quickly establishing herself as one of the most talented actresses of her generation. She rose to prominence with her portrayal of Duan in the 1976 remake of King Kong, showcasing her versatility and captivating presence on screen. Beyond her acting prowess, Lang is also renowned for her photography skills, having published several collections of her work. Additionally, she is an accomplished producer and has been involved in various theater productions. Outside the realm of arts, Lang is actively engaged in humanitarian efforts, advocating for issues such as HIV, AIDS awareness and environmental conservation. Throughout her illustrious career, she has left an indelible mark on the film industry, inspiring countless aspiring actors with her talent and dedication. Number 29, Paul Newman, a legendary actor, emerged onto the Hollywood scene in the 1950s, marking the beginning of an illustrious career that spanned decades. He gained widespread recognition for his role as Rocky Graziano in the 1956 film, Somebody Up There Likes Me, solidifying his status as a leading man in cinema. Aside from his acting talents, Newman was also celebrated for his philanthropic endeavors, most notably founding Newman's own a food company that donates all its profits to charitable causes. His charitable legacy extended beyond business ventures, as he was actively involved in various social and environmental causes throughout his life. Paul Newman passed away in 2008 at the age of 83, leaving behind a legacy of exceptional performances and philanthropic contributions. His impact on the film industry and society at large continues to be felt, inspiring future generations of actors and philanthropists alike. Number 28, Grace Kelly, an epitome of elegance and grace, rose to fame in the 1950s as one of Hollywood's most beloved actresses. She became a household name with her captivating performances in iconic films such as High Noon in 1952 and Dial M for Murder in 1954, earning her accolades and admiration worldwide. However, Grace Kelly's legacy extends beyond her acting career. In 1956, she left Hollywood behind to marry Prince Rainier III of Monaco, becoming Princess Grace and immersing herself in royal duties and philanthropic endeavors. Her marriage brought her immense public attention and solidified her status as a global icon of style and sophistication. Throughout her life, Princess Grace was involved in numerous charitable activities, particularly focusing on children's welfare and the arts. Tragically, her life was cut short in 1982 when she suffered a fatal stroke while driving, leading to a car accident that claimed her life at the age of 52. Despite her untimely death, Grace Kelly's legacy as both a talented actress and a beloved princess continues to endure, leaving an indelible mark on the worlds of film and royalty. Number 27, Gina Lollobrigida, an Italian actress and photojournalist, captivated audiences worldwide with her beauty and talent during the mid-20th century. Rising to prominence in the 1950s and 1960s, she became known for her mesmerizing performances in films such as Bread, Love and Dreams in 1953 and Beat the Devil in 1953, solidifying her status as a glamorous international star. Beyond her acting career, Lolo Brigida was also a skilled photojournalist, capturing iconic images of celebrities and world events. Her passion for photography led her to exhibit her work in prestigious galleries around the globe. Throughout her life, Gina Lolo Brigida remained active in various charitable causes, particularly advocating for the rights of women and children. Her philanthropic efforts earned her numerous awards and accolades, highlighting her commitment to making a positive impact on society. Gina Lolo Brigida passed away at the age of 95, and while she may have stepped back from the spotlight in recent years, her contributions to the world of cinema and photography 
as well as her dedication to humanitarian causes, continue to inspire generations around the world. Number 26, Lee Majors, an American actor, made his mark in the entertainment industry during the 1960s and 1970s. He gained widespread recognition for his role as Heath Barkley in the TV series The Big Valley, establishing himself as a prominent television star. However, Majors is perhaps best known for his iconic portrayal of Colonel Steve Austin in the science fiction series The Six Million Dollar Man. His portrayal of the bionic man with superhuman abilities captured the imagination of audiences worldwide, earning him a permanent place in pop culture history. Outside of acting, Majors has also ventured into producing and directing, showcasing his versatility in the entertainment industry. Additionally, he has been involved in various philanthropic endeavors, supporting causes such as children's health and veterans' welfare. At the age of 84, while he may have taken a step back from the spotlight in recent years, his contributions to television and film continue to be celebrated by fans worldwide, ensuring his legacy endures for generations to come. Number 25. Deborah Kerr, a Scottish-born actress, left an indelible mark on the silver screen during Hollywood's golden age. Rising to prominence in the 1940s, Kerr captivated audiences with her remarkable talent and versatility, earning six Academy Award nominations throughout her illustrious career. One of Kerr's most iconic roles came in 1953's From Here to Eternity, where she portrayed Karen Holmes, a neglected wife entangled in a tumultuous affair. Her poignant performance earned her widespread acclaim and secured her status as one of Hollywood's leading ladies. In addition to her contributions to film, Kerr was actively involved in philanthropy, supporting causes such as children's healthcare and education. Deborah Kerr passed away in 2007 at the age of 86, leaving behind a legacy of timeless performances and inspiring future generations of actors. Number 24, Helen Mirren, an English actress renowned for her versatility and commanding presence on screen, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. With a career spanning over five decades, Mirren has garnered widespread acclaim and numerous accolades for her exceptional performances. Mirren's breakout role came in the 1980s with her portrayal of Detective Chief Inspector Jane Tennyson in the television series Prime Suspect. Her portrayal of the complex and determined detective earned her critical acclaim and multiple awards, solidifying her status as one of Britain's most talented actresses. Throughout her career, Mirren has showcased her versatility by seamlessly transitioning between film, television, and stage roles. From Shakespearean dramas to contemporary blockbusters, she has captivated audiences with her remarkable talent and range. Beyond her acting prowess, Mirren is known for her advocacy on various social and political issues, including women's rights and LGBTQ rights. Her outspokenness and activism have earned her admiration and respect beyond the realm of entertainment. At the age of 78, Helen Mirren continues to be a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry, proving that age is no barrier to talent and passion. Her contributions to the arts and her influence as a cultural icon continue to inspire generations of actors and audiences alike. Are you a fan of this fiery lady? Let's comment, Helen Mirren, to show your love. Number 23, Robert De Niro, an actor, producer, and director, stands as one of the most respected figures in the film industry. 
With a career spanning over five decades, De Niro has delivered countless memorable performances, earning him critical acclaim and numerous awards, including two Academy Awards for Best Actor. De Niro first gained widespread recognition for his roles in iconic films such as The Godfather Part II in 1974 and Taxi Driver in 1976. His ability to fully immerse himself in complex characters and bring them to life on screen has solidified his status as one of the greatest actors of his generation. Throughout his career, De Niro has collaborated with acclaimed directors and actors, further showcasing his versatility and range. From intense dramas to comedic roles, he has consistently demonstrated his ability to captivate audiences with his unmatched talent. In addition to his acting career, De Niro is also known for his philanthropic efforts and activism. He has been involved in various charitable causes, particularly those related to the arts, education, and healthcare. As of his 80th birthday, Robert De Niro continues to be a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, proving that age is no obstacle to talent and creativity. His contributions to cinema and his enduring influence on future generations of actors make him a true legend of the silver screen. Number 22, Christopher Reeve, an actor, director, and activist, rose to international fame for his iconic portrayal of Superman in the 1978 film, Superman, and its sequels. His portrayal of the Man of Steel captured the hearts of audiences worldwide and solidified his status as a cultural icon. Beyond his acting career, Reeve was known for his humanitarian efforts and activism, particularly in the field of spinal cord injury research and advocacy. In 1995, he suffered a devastating spinal cord injury during a horse riding accident, which left him paralyzed from the neck down. Despite this profound setback, Reeve remained resilient and became a vocal advocate for spinal cord injury research, founding the Christopher Reeve Foundation to fund research into paralysis treatment and cure. Tragically, Christopher Reeve passed away in 2004 at the age of 52, but his legacy as both a talented actor and a tireless advocate for spinal cord injury research lives on. He remains an inspiration to countless individuals and continues to impact the world through his enduring contributions to film and humanitarian causes. Number 21, Jane Greer gained prominence during the film noir era of the 1940s and 1950s. With her sultry beauty and captivating screen presence, she became known for her roles in classic films such as Out of the Past in 1947 and The Big Steel in 1949. Greer's portrayal of femme fatale characters in film noir classics solidified her status as one of the genre's iconic actresses. Her ability to convey depth and complexity in her performances earned her praise from critics and audiences alike. Outside of her acting career, Greer was also known for her philanthropic endeavors. She was actively involved in various charitable causes, particularly those related to children's welfare and animal rights. Despite not achieving the same level of mainstream recognition as some of her contemporaries, Greer's contributions to cinema, particularly in the film noir genre, have left a lasting impact. Her timeless performances continue to be celebrated by cinephiles around the world, ensuring her legacy endures for generations to come. Number 20, Lana Turner, born on February 8, 1921, emerged as one of Hollywood's leading actresses in the 1940s. She rose to prominence with her role in the 1937 film, They Won't Forget, but it was her portrayal of Cora Smith in The Postman Always Rings Twice in 1946 that cemented her status as a sex symbol and talented actress. Aside from her acting career, Turner was also known for her glamorous persona and her turbulent personal life, which often made headlines. She was involved in various artistic endeavors such as modeling and singing, showcasing her versatility beyond acting. 
Turner was also actively engaged in philanthropic efforts, supporting charities and causes related to cancer research and children's welfare. At the time of her passing in 1995, Lana Turner was 74 years old. Though her career had its ups and downs, she left behind a lasting legacy in the film industry, known for her beauty, talent, and iconic performances that continue to inspire generations of actors and filmmakers. Number 19. Robert Urich became famous in the 1970s. He gained recognition for his role as Dan Tanna in the television series, Vega Dollar, which aired from 1978 to 1981. Urich's portrayal of the suave private investigator solidified his status as a leading man in the industry. Apart from acting, Urich was also known for his involvement in various artistic pursuits. He was an accomplished stage actor, appearing in numerous theatrical productions throughout his career. Additionally, Yurik showcased his talents as a producer, contributing to several successful TV projects. Beyond the realm of entertainment, Yurik was actively engaged in philanthropic endeavors. He supported numerous charitable causes, particularly those related to cancer research and education. At the time of his passing in 2002, Yurik was 55 years old. Although his acting career had slowed down, his legacy continued to inspire future generations of performers. Yurik left behind a lasting impact on the film industry, remembered for his versatile talent and dedication to his craft. Number 18. David Hasselhoff rose to prominence in the 1980s as an actor and singer. He became an icon of the decade with his role as Michael Knight in the hit TV series, Knight Rider. His portrayal of the crime-fighting, high-tech vigilante alongside his talking car captivated audiences worldwide. Beyond acting, Hasselhoff is also known for his musical career. He released several albums, some of which achieved success in Europe, particularly in Germany. Aside from his entertainment career, Hasselhoff has been involved in various charitable activities. He has supported organizations focused on issues like animal welfare and children's health. Currently in his 71s, David Hasselhoff continues to be involved in acting and entertainment projects. His legacy in the film industry includes pioneering roles in television and contributing to the popularity of action-packed series. Number 17. Gregory Harrison, an actor who made his mark in the entertainment industry during the 1970s, is widely recognized for his iconic role as Dr. George Alonzo, Gonzo, Gates in the television series, Trapper John, M.D. This medical drama, which aired from 1979 to 1986, propelled Harrison to stardom and earned him critical acclaim for his portrayal of the charming and compassionate surgeon. In addition to his acting career, Harrison is also known for his involvement in various artistic endeavors. He has showcased his talents not only on screen but also on stage, appearing in numerous theater productions. Furthermore, Harrison has dabbled in writing and directing, further expanding his creative repertoire. Beyond his artistic pursuits, Harrison has been actively engaged in philanthropy, supporting causes such as environmental conservation and animal welfare, at 73 years old. Harrison continues to remain active in the entertainment industry, occasionally taking on acting roles in both television and film. His enduring legacy in the world of entertainment serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors and filmmakers alike, showcasing his versatility, talent, and enduring passion for the craft. Number 16. Luciana Paluzzi, 
an Italian actress, gained prominence in the 1960s for her captivating performances in both Italian and international cinema. She is perhaps best known for her role as Fiona Volpe in the James Bond film, Thunderball. Paluzzi's portrayal of the seductive and cunning villainess solidified her status as a sex symbol of the era and left an indelible mark on the Bond franchise. In addition to her acting career, Paluzzi has ventured into various artistic pursuits, including theater and television. She has showcased her talents in a range of roles, displaying versatility and depth as an actress. Beyond her contributions to the arts, Paluzzi has also been involved in philanthropic activities, supporting causes such as children's charities and animal welfare. At 86 years old, Luciana Paluzzi remains an iconic figure in the world of cinema. While she may have slowed down her acting career in recent years, her legacy continues to inspire fans and aspiring actors alike. Number 15. Yvonne DiCarlo, a Canadian-American actress, rose to prominence in the 1940s and 1950s with her captivating performances in numerous films. However, she is perhaps best remembered for her iconic role as Lily Munster in the television series, The Munsters, which aired from 1964 to 1966. Her portrayal of the matriarch of the Munster family, a role that blended humor and glamour, earned her a permanent place in pop culture history. Beyond her acting career, DiCarlo was also recognized for her talents as a singer and dancer. She showcased her versatility by appearing in musical films and stage productions throughout her career, demonstrating her prowess in various artistic mediums. DiCarlo was also known for her philanthropic efforts, supporting causes such as animal welfare and children's charities. Her generosity and compassion extended beyond the spotlight, making her a beloved figure both on and off the screen. Yvonne DiCarlo passed away in 2007 at the age of 84, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire generations of performers. Her contributions to the entertainment industry, coupled with her philanthropic endeavors, ensure that she will always be remembered as one of Hollywood's most enduring stars. Number 14. Shirley Temple, a legendary actress, dancer, and singer, captured the hearts of audiences worldwide during the 1930s. Rising to fame as a child star, Temple's endearing performances in films such as Bright Eyes in 1934 and Curly Top in 1935 charmed audiences and made her one of the biggest box office draws of the era. She was known for her distinctive dimples, curly hair, and infectious optimism, earning her the nickname Little Darling. Temple's impact extended beyond the silver screen. During her career, she became a cultural icon and a symbol of hope during the Great Depression. Her cheerful persona brought joy to millions, and her image adorned countless products, from dolls to clothing. As she transitioned into adulthood, Temple pursued other interests, including diplomacy and public service. She served as a United States ambassador to Ghana and Czechoslovakia, utilizing her platform to promote diplomacy and cultural exchange. Throughout her life, Temple remained an influential figure, admired for her talent, resilience, and commitment to public service. She passed away in 2014 at the age of 85, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire generations of performers and advocates for social change. Number 13. Sean Connery, the iconic Scottish actor, began his illustrious career in the 1950s and quickly rose to fame in the 1960s as the original James Bond in the film series. His portrayal of the suave and sophisticated secret agent in movies such as Dr. Number, From Russia with Love, and Goldfinger, solidified his status as a cultural icon and made him synonymous with the character of James Bond. Beyond his iconic role as 007, Connery showcased his versatility as an actor in a wide range of films, spanning various genres. 
He delivered memorable performances in movies like The Untouchables, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, and The Hunt for Red October. Connery's legacy extends beyond the realm of film. He was a passionate supporter of Scottish independence and was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II in 2000 for his services to the arts. Throughout his career, he remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, revered for his talent, charisma, and enduring impact on cinema. Sean Connery passed away in 2020 at the age of 90, leaving behind a legacy that continues to influence and inspire generations of actors and moviegoers worldwide. Do you still remember 007? In my opinion, Connery is the perfect 007, what about you? Leave your thoughts below. Number 12. Richard Dean Anderson is an actor and producer who gained fame in the 1980s and 1990s for his roles in popular television series. He is perhaps best known for his portrayal of the resourceful and adventurous secret agent Angus MacGyver in the series, MacGyver, which aired from 1985 to 1992. Anderson's portrayal of MacGyver, a character known for his ability to solve complex problems using everyday items, earned him widespread acclaim and a dedicated fan base. In addition to his iconic role as MacGyver, Anderson also gained recognition for his portrayal of Colonel Jack O'Neill in the sci-fi series, Stargate SG-1, which aired from 1997 to 2007. Outside of acting, Anderson has been involved in various philanthropic activities, particularly those related to environmental conservation and animal welfare. He has supported organizations such as the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society and the Make-A-Wish Foundation demonstrating his commitment to making a positive impact on the world. At present, Richard Dean Anderson is 74 years old. While he may have stepped back from the spotlight in recent years, his contributions to television and his dedication to charitable causes have left an enduring legacy that continues to inspire fans around the world. Number 11. Warren Beatty, an actor, filmmaker, and political activist, first gained prominence in the 1960s and 1970s for his roles in iconic films such as Bonnie and Clyde and Shampoo. He is widely regarded as one of the most talented and versatile actors of his generation. Beatty's impact on Hollywood extends beyond his acting career. He has also made significant contributions as a filmmaker, directing and producing acclaimed films like Reds in 1981 for which he won the Academy Award for Best Director. In addition to his accomplishments in the entertainment industry, Beatty has been actively involved in politics and social activism throughout his life. He has supported various causes, including progressive politics and environmental conservation, using his platform to advocate for positive change. At 86 years old, Warren Beatty continues to be a respected figure in the entertainment world. While he may have stepped back from the spotlight in recent years, his influence on cinema and his commitment to social issues remain an integral part of his legacy. Number 10. Alain Delon, the acclaimed French actor and producer, rose to prominence in the 1960s and 1970s as one of Europe's most iconic and influential film stars. Known for his striking looks, intense performances, and enigmatic charisma, Delon captivated audiences with his roles in numerous classic films. One of Delon's most iconic roles came in the film Purple Noon in 1960, where he portrayed the charming and manipulative Tom Ripley. His portrayal of Ripley, a character torn between charm and immorality, showcased Delon's depth and versatility as an actor and cemented his status as a leading man in European cinema. In addition to his acting talent, Delon was also known for his off-screen persona, which exuded mystery and sophistication. He became a style icon, 
influencing fashion trends and earning a reputation as one of the world's most handsome men. At 88 years old, Alain Delon remains a revered figure in the world of cinema. While he may have stepped back from acting in recent years, his contributions to film and his enduring impact on the industry continue to be celebrated by audiences and filmmakers alike. Number 9. Zsa Zsa Gabor, a Hungarian-American actress and socialite, became a prominent figure in Hollywood during the mid-20th century. She gained fame for her glamorous persona, witty humor, and multiple marriages, which often overshadowed her acting career. One of Gabor's most notable roles was in the 1952 film, Moulin Rouge, where she portrayed the character Jane Avril. Although she appeared in numerous films throughout her career, it was her larger-than-life personality and extravagant lifestyle that garnered the most attention from the media and the public. In addition to her acting career, Gabor was known for her numerous marriages and high-profile romances, including her marriage to hotel magnate Conrad Hilton. Her relationships and glamorous lifestyle made her a fixture in the tabloids and a beloved figure in Hollywood circles. Outside of her entertainment career, Gabor was also involved in various philanthropic endeavors and charity work. She supported causes such as animal welfare and AIDS research, using her celebrity status to raise awareness and funds for important issues, she passed away in 2016 at the age of 99, leaving behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's most enduring and iconic figures. Number 8. Tony Danza, an actor, producer, and former professional boxer, rose to prominence in the late 1970s and 1980s with his role as Tony Banta in the popular sitcom, Taxi. His portrayal of the lovable but dim-witted boxer garnered him widespread recognition and established him as a talented comedic actor. In addition to his work in television, Danza has appeared in numerous films and stage productions throughout his career, displaying his range as a performer. He has also ventured into producing, with credits including the reality show, Teach, Tony Danza, where he spent a year teaching high school students in Philadelphia. Beyond his entertainment career, Danza is known for his philanthropic efforts and advocacy for education. He has been involved in various charitable initiatives, including supporting veterans' causes and promoting arts education in schools. At 72 years old, Tony Danza continues to remain active in the entertainment industry, with occasional acting roles and appearances. His contributions to television, film, and philanthropy have left a lasting impact, earning him a place as a beloved figure in popular culture. Number 7. Ted Danson, the esteemed actor, producer, and environmental activist, first gained widespread recognition in the 1980s for his role as Sam Malone in the long-running sitcom, Cheers. His portrayal of the charming and witty bartender earned him critical acclaim and multiple awards, including two Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. Following the success of, Cheers, Danson continued to establish himself as a versatile actor, taking on a variety of roles in both film and television. He starred in the acclaimed series, Becker, and appeared in films such as, Three Men and a Baby and its sequel. Beyond his acting career, Danson is known for his dedication to environmental causes. He has been actively involved in ocean conservation efforts, serving as a board member of Oceana, an organization dedicated to protecting and restoring the world's oceans. Danson's passion for environmental activism has earned him widespread recognition and admiration. At 76 years old, he continues to be a beloved and respected figure in the entertainment industry, admired for his talent, activism, and philanthropy. Number 6. 
Number 6. Jane Seymour, the celebrated English actress, began her career in the 1960s and rose to prominence in the following decades with her captivating performances in film, television, and theater. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Bond Girl Solitaire in the James Bond film, Live and Let Die, which marked her breakthrough in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Seymour has showcased her versatility as an actress, portraying a wide range of characters in various genres. She is perhaps best known for her portrayal of Dr. Michaela Quinn in the television series, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, for which she earned critical acclaim and a Golden Globe Award. In addition to her acting talents, Seymour is also an accomplished artist and author. She has published several books, including novels, self-help guides, and children's books, showcasing her diverse creative talents. At 73 years old, Jane Seymour continues to be a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, with ongoing acting projects and endeavors. Her contributions to film, television, literature, and philanthropy have left a lasting impact, earning her admiration and respect from audiences around the world. Number 5. J. Catherine Bach is best known for her role as Daisy Duke in the television series, The Dukes of Hazard, which aired from 1979 to 1985. Her portrayal of the feisty and iconic character made her a household name and a symbol of Southern charm and beauty. Bach's depiction of Daisy Duke, with her signature cut-off denim shorts and cowboy boots, became a cultural phenomenon and solidified her status as a sex symbol of the 1980s. Her role in The Dukes of Hazard remains one of the most memorable in television history. Beyond her role as Daisy Duke, Bach has appeared in numerous television shows and films throughout her career, showcasing her versatility as an actress. She has also ventured into other areas of entertainment, including theater and music. In addition to her work in entertainment, Bach is known for her philanthropic efforts. She has been involved in various charitable organizations and causes, including those related to children's welfare and animal rights. Number 4. Robert Redford first gained widespread recognition in the 1960s and 1970s for his roles in films such as Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and The Sting. His handsome looks, charisma, and talent quickly established him as one of Hollywood's leading men. Throughout his illustrious career, Redford has not only showcased his acting prowess but has also made significant contributions behind the camera as a director and producer. He directed several acclaimed films, including Ordinary People, 1980, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Director. In addition to his achievements in film, Redford is known for his environmental activism. He has been a longtime advocate for environmental conservation and founded the Sundance Institute, which supports independent filmmakers and promotes environmental awareness through the Sundance Film Festival. At 87 years old, Robert Redford's legacy as a versatile actor, visionary director, and passionate environmentalist is deeply ingrained in both the entertainment industry and environmental activism. He continues to inspire generations of artists and activists with his dedication to his craft and his commitment to making the world a better place. Number 3. Al Pacino rose to prominence in the 1970s with his electrifying performances in classic films such as The Godfather and Serpico. His intense portrayal of complex characters earned him critical acclaim and established him as one of the greatest actors of his generation. In addition to his film career, Pacino has also found success on the stage, earning acclaim for his performances in numerous Broadway productions, including the basic training of Pavlo Hummel, and The Merchant of Venice, for which he won a Tony Award. Pacino's contributions to the entertainment industry have been recognized with numerous awards, including an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in Scent of a Woman in 1992. 
He has also received accolades for his work in television, earning Emmy Awards for his performances in Angels in America in 2003 and You Don't Know Jack in 2010. At 83 years old, Al Pacino continues to be regarded as one of the greatest actors of all time, with a career spanning over five decades. His passion for acting and dedication to his craft have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers. Number 2. John Travolta first gained fame in the 1970s with his breakout role as Tony Manero in Saturday Night Fever, for which he earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. His portrayal of the charismatic and talented dancer propelled him to stardom and solidified his status as one of Hollywood's leading men. Travolta further cemented his status as a cultural icon with his role as Danny Zuko in the musical film, Grease showcasing his versatility as a performer and his ability to captivate audiences with his charm and charisma. In addition to his acting talents, Travolta is also an accomplished pilot and aviation enthusiast. He holds a private pilot's license and owns several aircraft, demonstrating his passion for flying. Outside of his entertainment career, Travolta is known for his philanthropic efforts and humanitarian work. He has supported various charitable organizations, including those focused on children's health and disaster relief. At 70 years old, John Travolta continues to be a beloved and respected figure in the entertainment industry, with a career spanning over four decades. His contributions to film, music, and philanthropy have left a lasting impact, earning him admiration from fans around the world. Number 1. Tom Selleck gained widespread recognition in the 1980s for his iconic role as Thomas Magnum in the television series, Magnum, P.I. His portrayal of the charming and resourceful private investigator in Hawaii earned him critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. In addition to his acting career, Selleck is also known for his philanthropic efforts and advocacy work. He is actively involved in organizations such as the National Rifle Association and the Character Counts Coalition, supporting causes related to education, veterans affairs and public safety Selleck's contributions to the entertainment industry have been recognized with numerous awards including a golden globe award for his role in magnum pi he has also received acclaim for his performances in television movies and miniseries demonstrating his range as an actor at 79 years old tom Selleck continues to be regarded as one of hollywood's most beloved actors with a career spanning over five decades his enduring charm, talent, and dedication to his craft have solidified his status as an iconic figure in the entertainment industry. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey through the golden era of Hollywood. If you enjoyed this episode and want to explore more about the iconic actors of the past, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Your support helps us continue to bring you fascinating insights into the world of cinema. Until next time, keep the magic of Hollywood alive!